Welcome back to Houston Life. It is an iconic Texas brand. It's also a celebrity favorite. We are talking about legendary Lucchese boots and here to showcase some Western fashions just in time for rodeo. We have stylist Julia Browning. Thanks for coming in. Hey, you guys. Hi, so Julia. I'm noticing that you got the heels on and I'm loving those. I do. So for those that don't really want to go straight country in the boots, you can always go chic in a nice leather heel. That's a, so, and that's not just a leather heel. What kind of no, skin is that? No, Luke Casey makes an amazing python heel. Oh, I love it. And this is the bone color. They've got, you know, the traditional colors as well. But as a stylist, I like to keep it a little bit fresh and different. Well, they are such amazing boots. I, I have a pair that I've had for about 16 years. Oh. And they're, they're my favorite pair of shoes. They last forever. I mean, they really do. They're an amazing brand. They really do um, uh, give you longevity. You can get them resold. They're my favorite boots. So as rodeo is coming up, a lot of people are, of course, talking about what they're wearing. The base of any good it's outfit, so important. folks, is it a is. great pair of boots. So today you've brought a number of looks. We have some Lucchese boots over here on the side. Yes, yes, just some other examples. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of crushing on these state Texas ones. I'm, I love the different boot. I love something with color. I love something with a state, um, you know, just not as traditional. Well, and I love that they are really, really stepping out with the different colors and a lot more embellishments now. Yes, a lot more interest. So that way you can keep your outfit a little bit more muted or just simple and don't have to worry about all the accessorizing. You just slap on an amazing pair of boots and it does all the talking for you. Okay. And to see how those boots look paired up with some of the rodeo fashion looks, you brought some models along I today. I did, yeah? I did. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so our first model is Leah and she is wearing sort of a classic country look. Okay, such a fun outfit. So fun. So the shorts are totally back in season in style. Um, I love that. And you can show off an excellent pair of boots that has, again, that color, that detailing. And then just, again, pop that color in your top. It's so easy and it just flashes. It's classic. Okay, but what's the secret to socks when you're wearing dresses and shorts? <laughs> oh, we definitely don't want them to show right. when we've got the shorts on. So you can do the ankle socks or even do those mid-calf socks. So it'll keep from the rubbing, but you won't even know you're wearing them. They look awesome. And this, what's the name of this boot? It's called the Avril boot? The Avril boot, yes. Avril boot. Mm -hmm. All she needs, cool. Leah, uh, is a, like a beer in her hands. I could totally see you outside. <laughs> Rodeo, here she comes. She's <laughs> her hat and she's ready to she's go. She's ready to go. Oh, Perfect. thank Thanks, you. Leah. You look great. Okay, our second model, model Abby. Come on out, Abby. Oh, Rodeo oh, is kind of all about that glitz and glam. Cool. Yes, and so we love to bring in that sequence. We all have a bunch of holiday tops we need to rewear. Rodeo is a perfect place for it. Um, love doing the white as well. And then it is the decade of the booty. You don't have to go with that with that mid-calf boot. You can try a booty. This is Boots. a little bit of a rocker. Yeah, they, well, they have wings on them. They yes. do. It's a sky booty. Amazing. It's kind of like wings, I think. And yeah, hence the name Sky. They look awesome. So that's definitely a nice rodeo glam look that she's paired today with. Are those jeans? Those are the white denim. Nice. And they even have a little bit of detailing on the side. I love just, again, a nod to something a bit different than just your everyday white denim. You're in rodeo. Why not step it up? Okay, so styling question for you. When you are uh, folding up, cuffing up your jeans, <laughs> do you do it to right where it meets the booty or do you allow a little space? Just allow a little bit. You can tell when she's like walking, she's got a little bit of skin in there. I say give it half an inch or quarter inch um, just to break it up a little bit, uh, but definitely roll them. Don't you don't always have to tuck it. Yeah, and you don't. You would never want to cover up that design. That would be. Oh, no, that is. Show those babies off. <laughs> those are awesome. Amazing part. Awesome, thank Abby. You. Thank you so much. Thank okay, you. Mega is our next model, and she is showing sort of like the rock and roll rodeo. Oh, look. cool. Yeah, rock and roll. We're gonna nod to some of this hardware and this detailing. And while it's just a satin dress, we're definitely gonna put in some metallic. And then look at these ombre boots. I think that is one of the coolest designs they have right now. If you can't decide between black or brown, just get them both. Go for the both, because yeah. it would blend with either. Exactly. See, I think this is like a perfect NFR, you know, going to Vegas if you get to go to National Finals Rodeo, yes. or one of the country music festivals out in Vegas would be great for that, too. Yeah, and I love you can still show off your legs. It's still, you know, a bit of a mini dress. You got a bit of a waist, but yes, just grab on those awesome ombre booties. If she were wearing long pants or jeans, the jeans would go inside the boot? The jeans would go inside the boot if you've got a mid-calf boot on, yes. But, we would not want to roll up yeah. all the way to Capri Lee. But you would never put the jeans over, like because men would typically wear jeans over their Great boots. Great point, right. If it's if it's a skinny leg, if it's a skinny leg or a legging, we're definitely gonna tuck it in, but you know, the boot cut's kind of back in. People are starting to wear yeah. the boot cut or the flare. That I would put over. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, Mega. Thank you, you Thank look you great. So much. I love the pop of turquoise in there too. Oh yes, <laughs> gotta have some good accessory. Our next model is Elise, and she is wearing something called the Saratoga boot. 
Yes, so this is something I'm gonna say. Most people have a lot of these items in their closet, so it's kind of that nod to that real traditional wear. The yeah. denim, the chambray dress, again, a lot of women have this, but I love adding this really heavy belt at yeah, the that waist. Belt. Is that belt is fantastic. The it is, it's so great. It just draws her waist right in, and it's such a statement, again, not to that turquoise and that necklace. True country look, and then match the belt to the shoes, ties the whole look together. And I love that those are the tra no, traditional solid color boots, but the, I mean, the design on it is fantastic. It's so intricate. Lucchese does such a good job at paying attention to every little detail. They're not just going to be um, a basic pair. They're definitely each very individual. And Julia, you always recommend mixing and matching. So you mentioned this could be an existing dress that maybe Elise has in her closet right. that she can pair with some new accessories. Right. So this, it doesn't just have to be rodeo. I love transitional clothes, things that you can wear, you know, out to the store or straight to rodeo. Oh, I love it. You look awesome. Thank you. At least cool. Our next model, Amanda, is an example of some textures that you're mixing up a bit. <gasps> oh, wow. Yes. So it's the year of suede. I think, you know, for not, it's not just found on shoes anymore. It really is in all of our clothes. But is that going to be hot when I'm going out to rodeo? I didn't say it would be cool. <laughs> I'm just saying that it looks <laughs> amazing. It looks awesome. cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it can be, you know, you might have cold in. Remember, it's indoors. There's air conditioning. So, um, you know, why not play up the suede yeah. and uh, mix in those textures? and talking about mixing textures, grab python, grab some animal print, um, and it doesn't even have to match your boot. Those All boots these, are amazing. Aren't they great? It's, again, a different texture, really adds some oomph to an outfit. It doesn't look plain. Well, Amanda, you yeah. look fantastic. Thanks so much. I was like, speaking of adding a little oomph to your outfit, well, we check should also, out my kicks. Yeah, yes. we got to mention, I mean, my jeans are covering mine, but we're also wearing the Lucases. Yes. I, again, I love the gray for men this day. I just think gray. I like the gray, too. I it's thought it's so, a different twist. It's a bit different, I feel like. I feel like we see a lot of black, a lot of brown, but the gray, I think goes with everything. The I like your twister. pumps, but I really love my I red know. boots. Hey, These it kind of awesome. goes with my top. I like it a lot. I'm obviously <laughs> really a fan of the Thank you so much. Now, if you want to rock the rodeo runway too, you can head into the Lucchese store on Westheimer or visit them online at lucchese.com. Julia, thanks again. And coming up next, folks, the segment many of us have been waiting for. It is National Chocolate Lovers Month. We are diving in into some Godiva chocolate cake. Don't move mm. a muscle, folks.